Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share with you the most massive, massive grocery haul I have ever done. <laughs> Okay guys, before I hop into this, I'm just going to say that I have been preparing to like stock up on items. Anyways, I'm just stocking up my pantry. I've got Kaya with me here. Um, this is a $600 Hi. grocery haul. This is three times the amount of groceries I typically get. I typically get 250-ish dollars of the groceries every week and a half, two weeks, and I got about $600 worth all at once. That does include paper towels, toilet paper, dog food, pellets for our smoker grill, um, laundry detergent, and um, some other like miscellaneous things in there. But our um, grocery budget for the month is five to six hundred dollars, and I basically spent it all at once this time when we went to Costco and Walmart. That's what I chose to do this time. I have Walmart delivery, and I got all of my groceries via Walmart delivery, and then we went to Costco this morning and picked up the rest of our items. So I am going to hop right into what I got from each of those stores and what my pantry stock up looks like. Okay, so we're gonna start on this side of the kitchen. I'm just gonna give you guys a pan over. Look at all of these groceries. It's like embarrassing. It's a massive amount of food and materials and whatever things and all of the grocery bags are down here. So I'm gonna start on this side. Um, I just wanna preface this as well. We got, I just wanna preface this as well that we got a portion of these groceries last night. So some of them have been broken into by the kids. Um, the Walmart grocery order came last night and then we went to Costco this morning. So some of this stuff has been opened, but um, I got two boxes of cereal. We typically do not get cereal, but I wanted to get something that was a little bit more non-perishable and maybe a little bit easier for breakfast, just ones. Something that was just like a little bit easier for breakfast, like once in a while to mix in for breakfasts. Um, and then I got a couple of bags of um, shredded cheese. I'll likely freeze one, keep one in the fridge. A few blocks of cheese for cheese and crackers. Half and half for my coffee. Um, almond milk, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then I also got chocolate almond milk for the kids. Um, goldfish that has already been broken into from the kids. Um, whole milk, this is what Riker is on. This is the only thing that we will have to refill on over the next few weeks is um, milk. So um, I, I have like another gallon and a half in the fridge. I just brought it out just to show you guys. Um, I got some flour, Hidden Valley Ranch packet seasoning. This is really good for roasts. Um, some sugar-free whipped um, heavy cream topping. Just so you guys know, I try to stay keto slash low carb. The kids, not so much. As you guys can see, some of these things are just like normal foods. Um, but I try to eat a little bit more sugar-free and so does Mike. Um, but the kids and Mike all love peanut butter. So I have peanut butter. I got the kids um, a bunch of fruit snacks. Um, this is the coffee that I use. I get a lot of questions on how I make my iced coffee in the morning and I use this espresso roast and then I brew it on my Keurig um, on level two and then I brew it like 14 ounces um, on the strong setting. So I use this and this for my Americanos in the morning and then um, even like a little bit of whipped cream on top would be super good. Um, I got some pickles for the kids. Now this is huge, huge part of my stock up. Um, a lot of these, so I've got um, corn, I like to make tater tot hot dish, tater tot casserole, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so corn is great as a side. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of like canned vegetables, but like I said, this is a pantry stock up and I wanted to have some more non-perishable goods on hand. So this will do in a pinch. Um, I got... No, put that back. No, no, it was in the fridge and I saved it. So I got a ton of cream of chicken. Um, I don't mind the great value version of um, cream of chicken soup. And uh, honestly, like I don't really mind the great value version of foods. So I do get these because it saves quite a bit of money, especially when I'm doing a pantry stock up. It saved me quite a bit of money. Um, on most of these canned goods, like the Walmart stuff, I spent $200, like $222. And then today at Costco, which included our bulk items of like toilet paper, paper towels, dog food, um, the pellets, the meat, all of that was $387.
but most of the non-perishables came from Walmart, which were about 200 bucks. Um, these are 50 cents each, so I got cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. I believe I got 10 of each. It's a, a little massive, um, a little massive, you guys, it's, it's ridiculous. But So there's like 20 cans here, I got 10 of each. Um, and then I got chili beans, and those are, um, I got chili beans, and then over here I've got more cans of beans too, um, but those are the only two canned beans I got, um, because I got dry pinto beans and then dry black beans because they were cheaper, and I want to put these into some containers that I have in the cupboard down here. Um, Grab spaghetti sauce, a couple things of spaghetti sauce. Um, let's see what I have back here. Mac and cheese for the kids, diced green chilies for enchiladas and like taco soup. Um, cheese whiz, because the kids like cheese whiz on toast and like cheese whiz on like their broccoli and um, green beans. And then I got a thing of Ritz crackers and cheese it crackers and Bisquick for this is actually really good for a bunch of meals. Um, my dad does like a, my dad would like use the recipes on this when I was younger. Again, just like a good staple non-perishable item to have in the house. Um, I think I showed these spaghetti noodles. These are like 99 cents each at Walmart. So can't go wrong with spaghetti. Um, Sugar-free syrup for pancakes. Um, I got a thing of wild rice. We love wild rice, Minnesota wild rice. We love it. We love it. We love it. Um, so I got a bag of that. And I got some brown rice. So I got a two pound of brown rice and then I got a 10 pound of white rice. Um, this is what the kids eat the most. So I got a huge thing of it. Again, remember this is a pantry stock up which is why I have so many dry goods and like in massive amounts. So that honestly this will probably last us the whole year. Um, and then we got um, oat nut bread, that's our favorite. I'll probably freeze three of these. One of these will stay in the cupboard. Um, these were all supposed to be frozen kale. The guys at Walmart for the grocery delivery kind of messed up. So I only got one thing of chopped kale. This is my favorite to have in like a Tuscan soup um, or a kale smoothie because again, you guys know that I am keto, low carb, and I love um, kale smoothies. <laughs> They gave us so much broccoli, and I bought broccoli today too, so we just have massive, massive amounts of broccoli, but that's okay because we do go through broccoli pretty fast. Um, I have paper towels and um, toilet paper here. Um, these two together are like 30 bucks, but these will last us, the paper towels will last us a month, these will last us two months. Okay, so continuing with some of the non-perishable items here, um, I told you guys I have dark red kid kidney beans. Now I use um, the chili beans and the dark red kidney beans and black beans and pinto beans. I'll do a chili with those. Um, and then this is um, one of our family's favorite soups. Kyle loves this soup. I try not to eat this soup, but this is one of my favorites. If I'm going to have a little bit of a cheat meal, super, super yummy. Um, I don't know, I've just been having it since I was a kid, so I like to stock up on this for an actual meal. Um, back here, I'm just gonna continue with the canned goods and then move forward. Um, I've got green beans and I've got, let's see, I think this is, yeah, all green beans here. And then um, I've got like the Walmart version of Rotel, um, more Rotel. Um, this is the only one where I was kind of thrown off. They gave me homestyle chicken noodle soup and I ordered like regular chicken noodle soup. Um, but I got four of those maybe even more, I don't even know. I got Fiesta nacho cheese soup. This is really good for like a tortilla soup. Um, really yummy for tortilla soup. So I got like four cans of those. These are more chicken noodle soup and more Rotel. Huh? It was in the dark it's so the lights off. Aww. And then more green beans. So many canned items, but um, and then over here, I found this at Costco today. This is a balsamic glaze. And we use balsamic glaze on a lot of our, um, a lot of our like pork chop meals. Um, and we add like a little bit of rosemary in there and a little bit of thyme. It's so good on pork chops. Um, avocado oil, this is the oil we use. This is one of the more expensive items out of our haul as well. This is about 20 bucks for this big thing of avocado oil. Um, 
I got a big thing of ranch, and then I got a big thing of barbecue sauce. Um, these were on sale for like a dollar something, it was like a dollar twenty. So I got two of these. I usually get the Heinz ketchup, but I just couldn't pass up on that deal. It was so good. So I got two of those ketchups. Um, I got a thing of granola bars for the kids in the morning because they are savages in the morning. They're so hungry, and I just need something quick so I don't stop at the gas station. If you guys have seen my morning routine, I typically stop at the gas station and will grab the kids breakfast and juice and grab myself coffee, and I'm trying to eliminate that, so I got them granola bars for that, um, as well as these go-go squeezes, the, um, the applesauce, I got the apple banana, apple apple and apple strawberry combination. And then I also picked up um, just a four pack of these. I wish these came in a bigger pack. Um, I just wanted to see how the kids like them um, for breakfast as well. Um, and then I got jello, sugar free jello for snacks. And then um, I got crackers for like some of the soup here. Kaya loves ramen noodles. She actually calls them rotten noodles. It's so funny. Sorry guys, the kids are like playing and whining in the background. <laughs> um, these are diced tomatoes and we will use these for, um, we mostly use these for salsa to be honest. We make our own salsa, but we also use these for like chilies, um, maybe some um, like taco soups and things like that. Um, I got two of these Better than bouillon. This is my favorite for making chicken broth. In fact, I will bring one of these to work and keep it at my work for like two weeks and this will be my lunch for two weeks. And I have chicken broth and a beef stick like every day for lunch. So I got beef sticks as well. And so that's, these are literally just for my lunch. But I did get a bouillon for home as well. Um, got the everything but bagel seasoning, the Costco version. Picked up Nature's Seasons. This is our go-to um, seasoning for all of our food. We grabbed more Mateus Salsa. If you guys have seen any of my Costco hauls before, you know that this is one of our favorites. And then, you're closed. Um, and then I grabbed some oatmeal. I've actually never gotten the kids oatmeal before, and I know that they like it at daycare and at grandma's, so I got some for home. Egg noodles, I love to use these in like, mm, like a homemade chicken noodle soup, a stroganoff, super yummy. So I got two of these. Um, I got a big thing of sour cream from Costco. Um, let's see, I'm trying to avoid the meat until last. I got white corn tortillas because Mike and I love corn tortillas. Also got two things of these Chi Chi's. I love the Chi Chi's ones because they're not as fluffy. I really hate fluffy um, tortilla shells. It's, that sounds so weird, but the consistency of my tortilla shell matters. <laughs> so weird. Anyway, got two of these. Um, I'm gonna freeze one of those, keep one out. And then, moving on to the meat, um, we got chicken thighs and usually two of these will last us for one meal so we've got about one two three meals for ten dollars three meals for ten dollars is a really good deal mass chaos in the background um three meals for ten dollars and then we take these are um beef chuck pot roasts from Costco and we will cut this one in half so it'll be one two three meals for $21.59 um, and then under here I've got chicken drumsticks and same with that we use um, two packages so this whole thing for 10 bucks is three meals and then we throw in a little bit more of an expensive meal these are 30 almost $33 these are New York strip steaks um, and these will be about um, one, two meals, because then we'll split this one in half, and the kids will get half one meal and half the other meal. They will like share a half for one meal because they don't eat that much um, in the beef. Like they, that's a lot for little kids. I don't know. You see my hand? That's my whole hand. It's huge. So half of that is quite a bit. Even if they like split it, it's plenty of meat for them for one meal. Um, and then under here, I also have. For $21, I have um, six pounds of hamburger or ground chuck or beef or whatever the heck. I don't know. It's 88% lean. That's my go-to because if I'm going to make like meatballs or something out of it, 
I actually wanted to be fattier. Meatballs or hamburgers, you wanted to be fattier. And it's grilling season coming up very soon, so I want things for the grill. But um, there is about six meals worth of meat here for $20 and chicken tenderloins. This is the only one where I couldn't tell you exactly how many meals. I would say approximately four or five meals in this chicken tenderloin frozen um, bag, and it's like $15.99 at Costco. Um, chicken nuggies, because always, even I, who like tries to stay on a healthy diet, indulges in the chicken nuggies once in a while. Super good. Um, We've got some shrimp, and this was $15.79. Don't ask me why I remember that number. I'm an accountant, and I remember random numbers all the time, but um, we get the raw tail on because actually if you get the cooked shrimp and then you cook it again, it gets super rubbery. So we always get the raw shrimp and then cook it that way. Um, we have tortilla strips, pizza rolls. These are for the kids. Um, the, this is like one of my, I know I should not be getting them meals, but um, it's just so easy when we're like super busy on the weekend um, and I just need to give them a cup like just a snack in the meantime until we give them like a full meal so anyways um, we got pizza rolls um, as ass <laughs> asparagus is my favorite vegetable so we have asparagus Mike's favorite vegetable is Brussels sprouts we're probably gonna freeze half of these um, like I said guys we got more broccoli, um, and there's like individual packets in here too. Um, mandarin and oranges for the kids. I tried to get fruit this time that wouldn't like rot as quickly, so I got oranges because these last a bit longer. Um, bananas, we go through bananas so quickly that like we blink and they're gone. They never go bad at our house anymore. So um, bananas and mandarin oranges are for the kids' as fruits um, for the week or um, Bananas and the mandarin oranges are the kids' fruits for the next two weeks. Um, the bananas will probably start to be like borderline bad by the end of next week, um, but the mandarin oranges should last us through most of March. Um, these guys don't go bad until about three-ish weeks. Um, under here I've got some peppers for like fajitas or um, I'll do like skillets in the morning and I like to put onion and pepper and eggs in there. It's super good. And here are my onions. I like yellow onions. Got a huge thing of potatoes. Um, also just purchased, what, hang on. I just purchased a huge thing of potatoes as well. So now I've got so many potatoes. We'll be eating a lot, a lot, a lot of potatoes. Um, and then I got hash browns for breakfast. I got three bags of hash browns and two things of tater tots for tater tot hot dish. Last thing I'm going to show you guys is our laundry detergent. This is the one that I always get, um, and it's about $14.79. Sorry, Kaya's like trying to clean the floors. <laughs> Anyways, this is the laundry detergent I get. All right, I just got done putting everything away, and this was completely empty. This corner cupboard was totally empty. It had like two or three things in it total, <laughs> and we have restocked. So. This is why we had to restock the pantry. We clear it out completely over the winter time. Um, and I just like to make sure that we have everything on hand that we need for any kind of meals. And this should last us quite a few months actually. Um, but we for sure have a one month supply worth of food in the house. Um, up here I've got all the snacks and bread and cereal and things. I just got done separating out all of the meats. We've got um, three roasts, two meals of steak here, six meals of um, ground beef. I've got the chicken tenderloins, chicken nuggets, pizza rolls, um, and then all of the other meat is underneath, like the drummies and the thighs, um, and all of the other good things. Um, and then on top, I had to get crafty because we don't have the biggest freezer. Um, this is taking up a bunch of room. I picked this up the other day just because I was gonna do repair floats with the kids. Um, so this is taking up a huge amount of room that we usually have open. But um, I've got hash brown, all the hash browns in here. I'm freezing um, a package of the bread. I'm freezing some peppers um, because these are actually nice when they're frozen. You can reheat them for um, fajitas. Um, and then I've got um, tater tots and all of the broccoli is underneath here. 
all of the tor tortillas, the corn tortillas are being frozen down here. And then this is the fridge. Um, I have all of the almond milk, like all of the milk is down here. Um, and then I've got like the snacky portion, um, the snacky portion up here. I actually have two boxes of these and Kaya's opened both of them, of course. Um, yogurt, and then I've got black cherry jello, um, and then strawberry jello, both sugar-free jellos, um, because like that's one of my go-to keto snacks for myself with like a little bit of whipped cream on top. Um, and then I've just got like all of the miscellaneous things up here. Um, a jelly for PBJs for the kids, pickles for snacks for the kids. I've got two things of mayo in here because we tend to do the same thing as this where we open one and we already have one in the fridge. Um, the only thing I forgot is um, eggs. So uh, I thought Mike grabbed eggs and um, whatever you call it, butter, but he did not. So this is Mike's portion of the fridge. I might indulge in one or two once in a while. Um, and then I've got peppers down here that's why I froze those other ones is because I have a fresh um, bag of peppers so I'm going to use the, these for several different meals um, back here let's see I've got a roast I'm cooking for dinner back here some clamato I like that with my beer actually <laughs> um, and then I've got some root beer um, for root beer floats this is our veggie drawer um, I've got tomatoes and I've got um, asparagus and broccoli. You guys will see that I didn't get any lettuce this time. I'm trying to stay away from salads for a while and come up with some more creative ideas like um, like bowls and skillets and things like that that I can have for like a healthy lunch um, on the weekend because even during the week I typically won't bring a salad with me for lunch anymore. I just do um, some chicken broth and like a beef stick and then possibly like an orange and a banana. So um, this is the one drawer that I've made a little bit more accessible for Kai. I don't mind, she can have as many oranges as she wants for snacks. Um, I do have a lime in here too for um, just like drink purposes, <laughs> but um, usually I've got lemons in here. Right now we just have the oranges. Um, if we have anything else like um, pre-sliced apple packets, we'll have those in here for her. We try to keep these a little bit more out of reach. Um, I don't mind if she has these, but she tends to chug them. She'll have like four of them in one sitting, so I have to put them up a little bit. Um, and make this a little bit more accessible so she'll reach for this drawer first. Now our last drawer in our fridge, um, usually this is where, usually this is where we would keep like our lunch meat and things like that, but we don't have any lunch meat right now. So I've just got the blocks of cheese, um, cream cheese, the shredded cheese, got like a leftover onion in here. Um, oh, we do have a little bit of lunch meat. We've got some salami and some Havarti cheese, which I can put together sandwiches um, for everybody with the, um, with the salami and the Havarti. Um, real bacon pieces. I like always have a bag of these on hand for just miscellaneous things. So um, a good example would be like, if we do twice baked potatoes or uh, mashed potatoes or maybe even like for our omelets in the morning, things like that. Oh my goodness, I just realized that I forgot to get bacon. Oh no, naughty mom. Okay, I forgot eggs and bacon. I'll have to send Mike back to get some of that. Um, likely tomorrow morning. <laughs> um, but, and then we've got two things of tortillas. Um, for tacos and fajitas and enchiladas. We go through a lot and I keep them in the fridge because they do keep better in the fridge. Um, and then we just um, heat them up before we, and then we just heat them up before we use them. Um, so this is the side of our fridge. I've got the ranch. I've got our new and old milk. Or just a minute. I've got our new and our old um, half and half in here ketchup, um, club soda. These are just things we typically have on hand. I wanted to show you um, chipotle mayo. I've got two of them. I'm such a chipotle mayo snob. So we've got two of them, sriracha, um, wheat germ, and then I've got Bloody Mary mix. Um, if you can't tell, I like tomato juicy stuff. Um, clamato and I've got Bloody Mary mix. Um, and then we've got this sweet chili sauce, red hot mustard, um, barbecue sauce here and here. Um, and then this is actually like a spray Mike uses for when he's smoking meat on the grill. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Kaya's trying to get her third glass. How about we just have some water, okay? No. That was an ordeal.
that is what we got for our groceries this time you guys i know it's crazy i know it's ridiculous but my pantry cupboards really needed this refill in fact i'm going to show you guys um my fridge and my cupboards all filled up as soon as i'm done putting all these groceries away but if you guys have any like pantry staples that you have in your house leave them in the comments down below i want this to be a really useful video i myself i i don't know what it is but i'm like obsessed with like stocking my pantry i don't know anyway so all right i'm gonna go get the kids Riker locked himself in the bathroom upstairs so all right hope you guys enjoyed my pantry stock video and i will see you tomorrow for a day in the life vlog okay bye guys <laughs>